Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, and today we're going to be having a discussion on Jurassic Park by Stern. Oh my god! Oh, it's here! <laughs> Oh my god, they finally did it. I mean, we heard about Elvira and we're like, yeah, we like Elvira, but they dropped Jurassic Park. Talk about a long-awaited pinball machine. I mean, there are so many Jurassic Park fans out there. It's unfreaking believable including this guy right here. That said, some things that we're hearing about this machine, obviously, through, you know, the pictures that we've seen through this week in Pinball, Canada's podcast was the first that we saw that actually was able to drop uh, and that being said, this, this setup looks actually very appealing. I mean, a lot of people are talking about the way that it's laid out, uh, looking more like Iron Maiden than anything with the three flipper setup, third flipper to the middle of the play field. So that's got everyone really excited. You know, there's pros and cons to this, of course, as we have our discussion today about this new Jurassic Park pinball machine. The art looks okay. I mean, it's got the Jurassic Park logos on it. Uh, it seems like it fits the theme. The inside of the play field looks really, really nice. And of course, as we're doing our discussion here, we're going to be flashing up pictures that have been published uh, for the pro and the premium models. I mean, mostly talking about the pro today because we have a lot more information on the pro at this point. Uh, but either which way, it looks great. It's got a huge toy in the back, pterodactyl. It's got the T-Rex head. It's got the Jeep in it. Uh, you know, so here, here's the things that we, knew, we do know about Jurassic Park at this moment. Uh, number one, three flippers. Layout similar to Iron Maiden. I love Iron Maiden. <laughs> it's a great game. I still want to buy one. I still got my Star Trek. I'm still going to buy an Iron Maiden, but I may just have to buy this Jurassic Park now. Uh, with the way that it's set up. Now, some things that we also know about this uh, is, you know, there's zero actors that are in this pinball machine from what we know from what we've seen and heard so far through podcasting, This Week in Pinball, uh, other sources that we've got. Uh, there are zero actors. Now, the, the good here is there's a new artist. So obviously, as you could tell, uh, the art is a little different. And again, different is good. You know, you got great artists like Franchi, Dirty Donnie is really solid. And you have new entries that are kind of coming in the artistic realm of pinball. And what I'll say is the art on this is definitely different. Uh, I think that it's going to meet a certain group. And I think they're going to really, really enjoy it as they see this throughout the day. Um, you know, they're going to be having an up bank in front of the Velociraptor uh, on the Premium and LA. That's pretty cool. So those are additions beyond the Pro that we're about to go into. Uh, they're going to put out about 500 LEs, which is pretty nice. So just be aware that if you're trying to buy an LE, it's limited. Uh, no movie clips at all for the Jurassic Park. I find that, you know, let's discuss that real quick. I, you know, Jurassic Park having the movie clips and the sound bites, I think that's what makes it Jurassic Park. Not having any of the actors, I'm sure it was very expensive, but I will say, I'm sure it's going to play very good, but that would have been very nice to have that in there. Me personally, as a Jurassic Park fan, uh, I would have loved to have seen that and gotten that old kind of feeling from the sounds coming from it. And it's the nostalgia uh, is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, that's something that's yet to be seen. I can't wait to actually test it and play it. Uh, the CGI animated clips are like Iron Maiden. So, uh, <laughs> if we're talking about Iron Maiden, the thing is, if Jurassic Park is anything like Iron Maiden shots and layout wise, which from the looks of it, it's got the shots. The question is how it plays. It's going to be a really huge success for Stern. So I'm actually getting excited, as you can tell, even on this video. I even had to wear my eyeglasses today, so I looked really super intelligent beyond that as we're talking about this. So uh, it has an original theme song on, so you're going to get that dun 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 dun. It's going to have that in the background to kind of give you the nostalgia, but it's going to be missing some of those other uh, intellectual property assets that are in there. Uh, Ellie is going to be green armor uh, versus the pro, and of course the Jeep toy is on a horizontal uh, spinner uh, like a Black Knight uh, flail is the best way to put it. So that's something to kind of think of. Now the things that we do know as we're going through this will have the pictures going across is the this, this Stern Pro for Jurassic Park 
has a lot to it. I mean, it is loaded with shots. I mean, there's toys, there's ramps, there's habit trial, wire form. It's got everything in this. It looks like they just dumped it all together, but that's cool. That's that's. I'm a reviewer uh, at Arcade and Pinball Talk. I've reviewed, I think, 600, 600 machines at this point beyond Arcade and also a physical mechanical pinball. And I could tell you shots and layout. I would tell you every review, even straight down the middle, uh, would tell you the shots and the layout is critical on a game and this has a lot of shots has a lot of layouts to it and uh first things first pro let's just go through the list here uh, as we're going jungle explorer toy molded t-rex wire fence in the back uh right shooter lane half pipe still ramp to heliport right spiral still and wire ramp feeding upper flipper left t-rex ramp which merges with the left raptor uh, on the left side with the tower over there. Three up posts, left return, left control uh, room, and orbit will divert into the pops on this machine. So you got the flow too. That's the other critical piece to this whole thing is shots, layout, and flow. Oh, man. Oh, God, this is good. Uh, so <laughs> Spinning targets, uh, booty rate, helicopter blade, three flippers, three pops, four multiple, and John Williams' musical score. So what they're saying here is that they do have assets of Jurassic Park. They don't have all of them. But do they need all of them for this to be a success? Jurassic Park, number one. People love Jurassic Park. It is a nostalgic franchise. This will be a sellout right out the gate. It doesn't even matter how it shoots, just because Jurassic Park fans are just ravenous. <laughs> but with that said, it's Jurassic Park. You're missing the characters. You're missing some of the assets in it. Will that take away from the game? That's yet to be seen. But they do have the nostalgic uh, Jurassic Park kind of intro that's going to be playing. They have John Williams with the musical scores on it. Uh, so it should sound very similar, although it's missing some of those assets. So I think they'll be able to piecemeal it together. The shots in the layout, looking at this thing, the pro and, and the premium, right? If you look at it, you know, you got the T-Rex head that's basically biting that ball. You shoot it up there and it spits that ball out into that wire form. That's nice. I like that quite a bit, Stern. Good job. I, I give you the vote of confidence on that one. I love it. But other than that, what else is there? I mean, again... What are your thoughts? You're seeing these pictures. You're understanding what this is going to look like. You're, you're now hearing from us, you know, what to kind of expect. Uh, what are your thoughts on this machine? First impressions. Go ahead. Put it down below. Comment on social media formats on Facebook, Arcade and Pinball Talk groups, you know, on all the formats we, uh, we post to, which is Pinball Enthusiasts, you know, Club Pinball, all these things. We want the talk to continue beyond YouTube. Let's talk pinball. Let's have fun with it. But anyway, with that said, click subscribe down below. If you like Arcade Pinball, if you like Mechanical Pinball, that's our format. We review. We are media. We are a show in that format. We provide content that we hope you enjoy. Uh, we put a lot of time, energy, and effort into it, and we truly appreciate you watching more than you know because we do this for free and we're truly unbiased so other than that thank you again for watching please comment below let us know your thoughts let's get this pinball conversation going again this is nathan your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy signing out thank you